YouTube, Green Ninja from Dirthead Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. <coughs> Sorry. Um, today this is probably my favourite invention yet uh, so far, and it's a combination lock for a door. I made a few of these trying to perfect it, and just so you're wondering, I have my render distance on tiny because my computer is being a bit messed up at the moment, and it has two gigabytes of RAM, and the fan on it gets really bad. And yeah. Yeah, it's just not very good. So this one, um, I actually made a few of them. So this episode, I'm going this yeah this video, I'm going to show you how I'm just going to show you a few of them, demonstrate how they work, and then because I haven't fully perfected it yet, in the next episode I'm going to show you how to make it once I've perfected it. So this is just so you know what's coming. So this was the first one I made. The code was four two three one. And for some reason, this was really hard to reset. And so, what would happen? I go. Uh, actually, I do a random one first, just so I go like, just so you know that it doesn't just work with anything. Okay, so that doesn't work. And then, so now if I reset it like this, it might not be reset. Actually, yeah, that did reset. <laughs> no, forget about it. So the code is four, two, three, one, and then the door opens. And now to reset this, it's gonna be kind of hard. Right. Uh, you gotta like re. For some reason, you have to reset it in a s certain order. See, like this. I use these locking things. So I have to turn this on. Which is this? So I'll turn that on. And now I can turn it off. Okay. Yeah, but the thing is, this one worked. I th I'm pretty sure I might have fixed it, but I can't remember fixing. It used to go like work with four, two, one, three. Yeah, four, two, one, three worked, so I had to get rid of this and it wasn't very good. And over here, uh, actually, I'll show you that at the end of the episode. That was the light sensor. Um, yeah, this was a second attempt, and I started making this, and then I just got really bored and stopped. Um, yeah, I made the I made um, all of these things this, uh, today. I started this morning and just made a few of them. This one, I kind of had the wrong idea with it and it didn't work. Go on to this one next, and I just, uh, actually I'll do this one. This one uh, was another attempt, it was an attempt a bit like that one, and this didn't work for, I can't remember for what reasons, actually, but, um, okay, so I can't, I, I can't actually remember the code on this one, but, um, it didn't work, and it was a bit big. Yeah, I think I only got it up to doing three different digits. But that didn't work. So then I just tried to go to the basics and see if I could find a pattern with this one. So, obviously, I wouldn't need to demonstrate a one lever system because that would just open the door straight up. So I did two. This one still has an order, so it has to go like that and then that to open. Uh, it can't just go like that and that because that would lock this repeater, as of the new 1.4 update, that would lock that if it's side on. So I'd have to do that and that. And then to make sure just me pressing one, using one lever would open the door. I need to make sure that it doesn't happen. I just used a simple AND gate here. An AND gate, so I'll explain to you. Actually, yeah, I'll explain what all those gates are at the end, because uh, that's sort of what I've been doing over there. In this one, I did three lock system, but again, this one didn't work, and it was incredibly hard to reset. Like, I to think to reset it, I had to, like, I don't, I don't even know. I had to, like, do all this random shit, and had to, wait, oh, did that reset? I can't even remember what the code was, but it was like that, that, that. But the problem with this was, um, the problem with this was that I could go like that, then like that, then like that, and it would work. So there were two different combinations, and that's one of the problems I had with the very first one. So of course I couldn't do that. This one I just showed you that one. I'm going around in circles. Um, now this one is the one that worked in the end. Okay, this was my final one. Uh, I just put I put those buttons on just earlier to see uh, just to try it out and we and that would make it easier to reset but I took them off because I I just took them off and then I'm like, so 
code is 2341. So it goes 2341. Was it 2341? Two, oh, 2314. Yeah, okay. So I'll try a different one. I'll go like that, 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 and that. Okay, <laughs> this one didn't work either. Ah, okay, what? I swear I finished this one. Oh, the, I, hmm. This one's not completely done. Uh, it seems that just activating the fourth one makes it work. Seeing like this. Uh, turns out act, just activating that. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. I'll, I'll explain this one. So, activating that. Actually, no, it's actually not too bad. Activating this one here doesn't do anything. That does shit all. Except it allows that to go through. What am I doing? Okay, this one, I think I might have put the wrong order down here, but let's see if I got it the original way. So, it was 2, 3, 1, 4. Okay, so I have to have 1 and 4. But uh, for some reason, it doesn't necessarily have to be in that order. So it doesn't have to be one and four, because I could have four than one, and I can't have that. No, I don't want that. But this will this will only work. This will only s okay. Number one will only send a current through there and across here to that, which will pull that back. Okay, I'll explain how it. So I press two first. That turns on, but nothing happens to that. Um. So that, and then when I went three, three sends a power, sends a current here, turns that torch off, turning this repeater, turning that repeater in there off, turning this whole line off, and going to this piston, retracting it. Then when I press one, it would, uh, that redstone would join with that, and then you go up here to that which would turn that torch off, retracting this, sending a current through here to push that out, which would, then that redstone would send a weak current through that block, and because repeaters can pick up weak currents, I can't talk, that would then send the signal out through here to this repeater just to make the distance, and then it would open the door. So it turns out I could do this in a few different orders. So let's see how many I can do. I think any order will do, actually. Any order does it. It's just a really complicated way of opening a door. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, that's why these locking things are important. Um, I Actually, I'll explain how... This one, that one... Uh, no, I'll explain a different one. This one, yeah. I put these pistons on the top here as a try to try and make an easy reset button, but turns out that right now that this one is my best lock, and I thought it was the worst. Okay, so what happens? It goes down. So, um, I can't. I, so the first number was four. It went four, two, three, one. That's how it was intended. So if you pressed any other any other lever first that wasn't four press one first, it would go through this current, go up here, come down, go into this repeater which would lock that, and we need that to be unlocked to send the current through. Um, if you press number three first, the current would go through here and go to that repeater and lock that repeater. If you pressed two first, uh, because you, there's only two sides to each repeater, you can't lock the same repeater three different ways. It, this current went through here, through here to this repeater, which would lock here. Um, and because it's further on, do, uh, I don't actually make a difference. If I press this first, it would send the current straight through to this repeater. Uh, normally, I'm gonna put particles on slightly just so you can so I can demonstrate demonstrate this. So this current from number two, number two has to be on for this circuit because um, 
redstone can pick up strong circuits from blocks, uh, and redstone repeaters transmit strong circuits. So if I had redstone there and a redstone repeater there, it would be, it would work the same way because that receive that can receive a weak input from a block and that sends a weak input into a block. But anyway, so pressing the second one then would push this repeater out and uh, finish this current this that little circuit. It would go through here to this repeater. But if I pressed, if I had pressed number one before I pressed number two, then that repeater there would be locked. I'm not even sure why I have that there because I don't need it. But actually, that might be stopping it from resetting properly. I don't even need that there. I'm just going to take this out just to test it. Okay. But so if and then if you pressed either one or three before you press number two then these oh god what am I doing no I have to turn all of these off to fully demonstrate it so I turn these off the door won't close because it's messed up but it doesn't matter so what happens oh, I keep flying up uh, these two tor these torches here are on by default doing t uh, locking these uh, to turn these torches off, I need that to light up, so if I press 1, that will unlock, and if I press 3, then that will unlock, and that was the problem I was having with the two codes being able to be 4231 or 4213, which I couldn't have because then that's not really a combination lock, it's just a, like, it's a two combina it's a two combination lock, and I didn't want that, so I could make this so it worked by having the 1... Uh, have a circuit going out uh, probably down under here and locking that so the three would be able to get the signal through and unlock that but uh, there's not really enough space and I really just can't be stuff right now so uh, yeah and now to show you these gates over here so I put these down just so I can remember them this is a not gate and I put signs on them so you can understand on so right now so that's off right now. So right now, okay, that is when this the lever right now is off. When it's at, when it's pointing up, it's off. So when it's down, it is on, and a not gate. So on, not on. So when that is on, that is not on. That and that. Oh, you can just call it an inverter. That's what I usually do. So this is an or gate. So this is actually really simple as well. A, B, they both link redstone up to this. So A or B, you only need A. A would work and B would work. A and B would still work, and that's they're two really simple ones. This is a NOR gate. A B it's a com uh, A B and it's a combination of a NOT gate and OR gate, hence NOR gate. Um, so putting turning B on would turn that off. Turning A on would turn that off because. It's just like a two-way inverter, except it doesn't really make a difference. They can both be on, both be off, it doesn't matter. Um, and this is an AND gate. This is all I got to so far because I got bored. So A, B, A and B. There's a few different um, designs for this. But here, it is A. A doesn't turn it on, on its own. B, B doesn't turn it on, on its own because it's an AND gate, and that is A and B, A, B, so A and B turns it on. This is what happens. That, uh, when I press, when I pull the lever over there, it sends a current through to here, turning this redstone torch off, uh, but that, that there will still be on here, I'll show you. I'll just do that. So that will still be on because it's getting powered by one of the torches. That'll only turn off when both of the torches are off, and that only happens when both of these levers are on. That little piece of redstone, when it's on, is turning this off, and then here, that just does that. That turns on. That's like a, little, a mini knot gate combined with. It's like a double knot gate. It's like a double knot gate with two things. I, I don't know. But anyway, um, that's just messed up. I tried to see if I could lock all of the things at once, all of the repeated, all of the repeaters at once, but you can't. 
and yeah, no, it's a light sensor. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Um, the well, not tutorial. I was showing. Thanks for watching this, showing you the combination like I made. Whatever. I don't know what it's called. But um, yeah, I'll make the uh, upload the tutorial for this uh, probably tomorrow, maybe even later today, but probably not today. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry, I, none of these worked. None of these worked. I'm so bad at this. Um, I, sw I swear that one was working, but it turns out it doesn't. So pistons aren't the most efficient way to do it. I need those redstone locks like this. That's that. I tried to get rid of these. These lock, these locking things like this because it just makes it so much harder to reset because you have to reset it in a certain order. So I tried using pistons, but then it turns out using pistons doesn't work either. And that's what happens when I have no idea what I'm doing. I just made this up from scratch, but it didn't work. Okay, uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching this episode, guys. Leave a like or comment and subscribe if you want more. And yeah, I'll see you next time. <laughs>